Edging ever closer to the dollar in value, the euro hasn't been this near to parity with the US currency for nine years. Dealers are marking it down because they fear more eurozone trouble could be days away. Once again, the trigger is events in Greece. There, Syriza, the main anti-austerity contender in this month's snap election, wants easier terms on its bailout conditions. It says it doesn't want to leave the euro, but the markets fear that it may be forced to do just that if it insists on a debt haircut and dropping some austerity measures. So where would that leave the eurozone? Well, a report in Der Spiegel in Germany suggested that Chancellor Angela Merkel's camp believes Europe now has sufficient defences in place to let Greece fall out of the euro bloc. It's certainly a recipe for more turmoil as the bond and currency markets start testing those defences. The euro is on a downswing because in Europe the political environment is not as stable as it is in the US. We're seeing discussions about Greece as a leading subject for the media and for investors at the moment. But it's especially the fact that necessary reforms in France and Italy are not being pushed forward and which leads to uncertainty for many investors. And there's more likely downward pressure on the euro coming from no less than the European Central Bank in Frankfurt. Its long-promised monetary stimulus may start this month, and it may have the side effect of further weakening the single currency, though it's not an easy call for market watchers. The eurozone is made up of 19 separate countries, which means that the QE plan is a lot more complex than it would be in the UK or in the US. But of course, although it's, uh, it's clear that Draghi, the, the president of the ECB, is in favour of this policy, it's also quite clear that perhaps he hasn't got the majority on the council that he needs yet to go forward. So it's not yet a done deal. So not the ideal start to a new year that the eurozone had hoped would bring better news and more stability. Nigel Cassidy, BBC News.